What different types of APIs microservices can use to communicate with one another? What different types are there? Yeah, so there, there are many types, but yeah, I think the, the four standard types is the one, one of them is uh, your uh, YAML or JSON, which is used like, mm -hmm. uh, don't hate me for it, but yeah, <laughs> S3 JSONs are still a, mm -hmm. a pretty common way for microservices to communicate with each other. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. As long as that schema is well defined mm -hmm. and it's uh, it's agreed upon and it's not changed willy nilly, I think it's a, it's a pretty standard and good interface for uh, microservices to communicate with each other, which is an actual storage system providing a JSON or a YAML interface through which they communicate with each other. If you need more real-time interaction, then REST is, of course, REST has always been around and you can have an HTTP-based interface using REST. The problem with REST is that uh, if, you, if you make a call, you always get the same blob of information back. So you don't really get, you, first of all, you get, the clients get a big blob of information that keeps getting bigger and bigger over time. And the second thing is, uh, on the server side, you don't really know what are they really, which part of this big blob of information are they really interested in. So that problem is solved by GraphQL interfaces where you really return what they're really looking for. What is that one piece of information in this big blob of uh, uh, API backend that you have available that the, that the client was really interested in and that could help you build better business metrics that reduces the IO as well as communication and performance penalties that you take just by sending big blobs of information back and forth. So that's another real-time interface which is much more uh, fine granular Slightly harder to implement, but I think it's an investment worth making uh, when you're building these interfaces and if you think your REST API is going to grow over time. And the last one is WebSockets, where you can actually have WebSockets that can, uh, which is more of a pub sub interface, you're publishing and subscribing uh, to information. Uh, that's just super real time. Something comes up, it can get published on a WebSocket.